Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 6 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series. Unfortunately, my power went out mid-recording on this episode, so I've done a mission uh, for the German man where we beat someone up and they had no money. And we talked to John and he wants to go and rob a train, but I have to get a carriage, like a cart laced with oil in it that we're going to put on the tracks to stop the train. And I got halfway through doing this mission, and then my power went out, so that sucks. But I have my strat for this. After failing once, I figured out what I can do to, to get this to work. So what we do is we push aim down, we push up on the D-pad, and we spook the horse with the cart. Now the cart's gonna run, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. That's the plan. The horse's core is draining. Or something. Alright, so now all we gotta do is we gotta get on the coach. Which it should slow down any second now, from being spooked. We can jump to the wagon. And now we can get out of here. The first time I tried that I got a bounty because I accidentally shot somebody. But it worked out much better this time. And hopefully my power won't go out again because unfortunately that recording got lost to the ether because it was corrupted. And I can't get it back no matter what I do, so... I'm hoping we'll be alright now. And it will not happen again otherwise I might go crazy. Beautiful. At least it's a nice morning in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's looking very good. Very, very good. I can hear my kids screaming. But I'm using OBS to record this this time. Instead of the Elgato software. So I can actually... I have a, a mute button that actually just mutes the microphone. and doesn't mute the game sound. So if my kids run in during a cutscene. You'll be able to at least hear the cutscene. And also, this mic isn't as sensitive as it is in the Elgato software, because I actually can put filters on the mic in OBS. So I'm hoping that that will be just much better off. Nowhere near as sensitive. Alright. Also need to start thinking, oh, we're using the split bullets, aren't we? That's why we don't have a ton of ammo, because we're using the split bullets at the moment. Oops. Well, I've got my horse following me, so at least we won't have to go far to get back on our horse. Right, it's going to take a long time to move this wagon, dude. It doesn't move very fast. It would appear. Seems to be quite slow moving, actually. At least there doesn't seem to be stamina drain on the horses on the cart. So I don't have to worry about that, at least. That's at least a nice bonus. So also got to work on trying to get upgraded satchels and stuff, which means I have to work towards getting the leather working kit. But I've only got $72 because I died in the last episode as well from some O'Driscolls that I tried to kill to save somebody else. So. Alright. Just got to park the wagon here. I guess. Also got to try and reach for my drink. Alright, go roam, horses. Tell John, back at camp, that the wagon is in position. Sweet. So what could I have done differently? Deliver the wagon to the drop-off within 1 minute and 45 seconds. Holy shit, man. How the fuck? What, do you just go across, like, the mountainside or something? It's also just, like, run over this marker so it disappears. Alright, now we got to go all the way back to camp. Uh, John is over there. Beautiful. Let's go this way. Find a road eventually. Found one, I just ran over it. 
There we go. Beautiful. Maintain. How bad is it? Don't we need cleaning kits for that? Or we need gun oil. Nice. Man, that makes it look good, though. You don't have gun oil to clean this gun. We need to go to a gun shop and also buy stuff like that, like gun oil. Arthur! Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur! They got Bill. What? Who has? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Right. Yeah, well... Coming? All right, lead the way. All right, well. So how'd you find him? Well, yeah. all right. He said he was going hunting. Never returned. Awesome. Damn it, Bill! You dumb son of a bitch. I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Mm. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. All the time. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's there save they his are. ass On first. foot from here. Worry about how to kick it later. Alright, what are we gonna do, Javier? Take out your position. Stake out my position. Um, we probably should also make sure we've got a full core before we go running in on this. Stupid bastard. God damn it, Bill. Get yourself caught. I owe you fellas for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm heading to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. No problem. What's next? No, I don't want to pick him up. No! Oh, screw it. Let's just throw him on the fire. Hmm. Oh, there's a lockbox here. Let's loot that. Yep, gold wedding ring. And a money clip? Hell yeah. I'll take that. 13 buckarinos. We need all the money we can get at this point. Oh, canned fruit. Take some of that. That's good eating right there. Canned apricots. There you go. Any food is good food at this point. What's that? This gave me a prompt to pick something up, but what is it? Oh, I can loot this guy as well. Maybe. Let's take the corn. Like I said, any food is essential, I feel like, in this game that we're going to need to keep it. Pick up worn carbine repeater. 
No, I just want to loot him. Is the thing. Sweet. Some more cartridges and money. Good, 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 good. Right, horse. Now we got to ride back to camp. Let's give you a brush too, just to make sure you're happy. Give you a carrot. There we go. Happy cores. Holy, what the fuck was that? You see the way that shit jumped up? It didn't look right, man. It just looked insane. Very silly, but it works. How long is this going to take? Our dead eye is completely running out and the core is damaged. Do I have items for this? Special bitters. Miracle tonic. I don't really want to do that. Dead eye miracle tonic. Do that. I don't know what to do about the damaged core, though. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we can do about the damaged core. Let's just get back to camp and talk to John and see what, what the go is there. See if we can figure that stuff out now. And I can hear my my daughter talking. Yeah. I love having the stream deck. It's so nice just being able to lean over and just tap the mute button quickly if I need to do anything, like if I need to talk to somebody or whatever. The only thing I wish OBS would get implemented, and I know they're working on it, like at some point is a pause feature for recording. It'd be so good to be able to pause my recordings as I'm doing them. Lenny? side of the camp. I don't have to go as far to get to, like, it's faster to get to John. You busy, Arthur? How you doing, John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. All right, sweet. Go. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Abigail. Abigail needs to speak to you. Uh, I don't want to, though. All right. Sorry, horse. I changed my mind. Give me a second. Let's see. You, know something? you boys don't know you're born. You boys don't know you're born. Okay, makes sense. Yes, Abigail. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. 
Okay. Thank you. Ooh, I get to hang out with Jack. Where is he? Go to Jack. All right, I'm keen. I'm down. I'll walk across the entire campsite that takes 500 years to get to him, though. Oh my god, would my dog shut up? That would be great. If she could just stop causing a fucking shitstorm outside every time. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're <laughs> It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Wait for Jack. Sweet. Come on, Jack. Let's go fishing. Oh! The rod just, I'm pretty sure, went inside the horse's butthole. I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what happened. Look at the compendium. A fishing rod for catching fish can be found in the hunting section of the item wheel. Ah, right, cool. Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Awesome. Companions will sometimes ask for help retrieving an item. Find and return it. So, Jack has asked for a penny dreadful book. Find a penny dreadful book. Okay. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Walk to the riverbank to start fishing. Hold L1 and R1 to use the item wheel. S select this. Oh, I don't know how fishing works. We need some bait. Use the bait wheel. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist. Not your elbow. R1 to hook a fish when you feel a bite. That's it. Good. R2 to hook All the fish when you feel a bite. Now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. Okay. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There we go. Pull him in. All right. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you got to be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Alright, he's fucking fighting me. Get him! Yeah! We did it! Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Okay. Can I take a break for Press triangle to quick equip cheese. 
something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right, Jack's just gonna go get some flowers. having a struggle oh oh we got it all the way straight in another small one again well this is clearly the spot for bluegill not very big press triangle to do quick equip cheese bait or hold l1 to use the bait wheel Jack's just doing his thing over there. I guess. You got a stick of things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. Come on, fishies. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. See that cast, Jack? Alright. Let's stop fighting. Look at how quick I reel it in. What are you making there? You'll see. It's Another bluegill thing. Fuck it, let's just get that. I think we're good now, right? Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Oh, great. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. Mm. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Right. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Shit. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> what a prick! Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> Fuck. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, fella. I'm very glad that they did not do anything apart from threaten us. A 
was a little bit worried there for our safety, to be honest. Yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? What the fuck? Are you actually kidding me? I f <laughs> I fell off a rock and it's like Jack was frightened. It's getting late, Jack. You might be worried. Let's head back. That is absolutely incredibly stupid. Holy fuck. Didn't mean to do it, and he sounded fine. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt them. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you, folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Beautiful. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Shield. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay. Let's do that then, Dutch. What could I have done better, game? After arriving at the river, catch a fish within a minute and 30 seconds, complete within 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, so... We could go do the John mission now. Which is probably what we're going to do. Seems like the play. Let's go. Let's third. That's first person it for a minute. See how this goes. Game is so fucking huge and nice. That Ross. Is he not the same motherfucker who goes after Marston later on? I don't remember Milton, but I remember Ross. I thought we kill him or something. First one to drop him gets the gold. Easy, oh easy. shit. Now, come on. I 
can't look down. I can't look down. Well, that didn't work for you boys, did it? You really fucked that one up. Oh, beautiful. So apparently, if you if you hold if you're um, aiming down sight. And you tap down on the D-pad, that's how you ADS. Interesting. So for any of you guys and girls that don't know and you just want to ADS, you just tap down on the D-pad when you're aiming down sight. And you'll actually aim down the scope of the gun. Better just looking from the side, you'll aim down the rifle. How you doing, sir? How's the wife and how's the family and the kids and everything? I was going to go in a cinematic camera just as they came up, so... Oop, shit. Knocked my can against the fucking pop filter. Can't be far now, can we? Help. Ooh, straight past. I saw an image of someone on Reddit who was like playing this game 7.1, even though it only supports 5.1. 120 inch screen with like a theatre speaker set up and everything. It's insane. It's absolutely bonkers. Absolutely, positively bonkers. Shut up, Arthur. Sorry, the same time he's talking to me. I'm starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can sit. Besides, what do what you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, know, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. <laughs> you're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall.
Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. Hey, hey, take it easy. Not a chance. I'm going to be rough as guts. Spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Slow down. Don't you fucking tell me what to do, you Irish prick. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. The wagon can't take this. They're left here, towards roads. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. you're... Oh well, round of applause. Whoa, easy. I mean easy. I'm literally not even tapping X. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From our folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by us. Now look what you've done. Are you crazy? Done nothing. Shut up. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. That's right, sweet. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Good. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on. Hey, get on there. Let's board the passenger captain. car. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody, stay calm. The sure. main party gets shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Yeah, let's do it. There you go. This is let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I am no, adverse to conflict, no. my dear. No, please. I ain't got no. nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? L2 to focus on uncooperative passengers and beat them. Come on. Got all your money. I want 
damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'll take my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says. So this can be the gentleman, this is a robbery. You want to make this quick? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Yeah, tough, motherfucker. Give me more. Give me more. Thank you. All right, let's go see how he is. What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Did I ability unlock manual painting? Yeah. Ooh, right in the shoulder. You dumb fuck. Let's loot the guard. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but we're seeing double here. Gives you twice a chance to hit Rub the baggage. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, Mr. Cabinet, what do you got for me? Looking good in here. Oh, oh. Some money. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. I can't take everything that's here, so I hope I don't have to, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do it. You're nearly done. We'll take that. Can't carry any more of a lot of the stuff I have on me, apparently. I can take all the money clips, though. Shut up. I want 300, if possible. Some jewellery, yes. Button watch. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. We ended up with 300, it's not a bad haul. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. Yeah, shit. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Schmidt, get ready. You men come off the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Dad, there's a few more of them torn enough. Oh, shit. In my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There they are. Here we go. You weren't dead. Ooh. Come on, I want to try this. God, that's hard to handle. All right. I just got to uh, have this. There we go. Where's my horse? Coming. Evade the law by escaping from the red area. Staying out of sight until they stop looking for you. Alright, let's go. Holy shit.
Wanted dead or alive, goddamn. Now come on. And they're on our ass, dude. Law of Lost Sighting, you continue to evade them until they stop looking for you. Fuck! Get on, 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 get on. Get up, horse! Get up, horse! Get up! I'm sorry, horsey. I'd give you something if I could. Pretty sure I got a horse revive kid if shit gets desperate anyway, but. Oh, shit. We get down this hill somehow. Woo! That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. Mm. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way. We should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Total take 15 grand. You'll share 187 bucks. That looks out alright. What could I have done? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I can't do it now. I was going to say what could I have done better, but it's, it's irrelevant. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to hold this. Let's have a look. Where do we end up? Oh, man. we got a I got a bounty over there too, though. I have to avoid police over this borderline. Alright. Alright, cool. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Alright, poise!